Hey guys, cool about right back. I'm Rick. Eric. And we are back with One Piece live action on Netflix. My face hurt yesterday. <laughs> because I was smiling so much watching the episode. Well, I hope it hurts again today. I don't mean I hope that happens to you. I hope so. <laughs> I, don't, I don't mean this to sound like derogatory. Yeah. But it felt like watching my daughter be in a play. I get it. We're like I'm just like super gener- proud of what's happening. Yeah. And the enthusiasm. Okay. And like it's not the product so much as it is like the spirit of it all. I think I understand. Like the true uh demographic of that performance. Is it necessarily you because you've already seen the show? And you kinda want it to be for people that are seeing it for the first time, maybe? Yeah. That you get to appreciate all the things that are being done in service of that person? Does that yeah, make sense? I think so. Okay. I feel like after last episode, and maybe into this one, I will become that person because I'm running out of material that I know. I think we've blown past at least half of it. <laughs> we have. <laughs> so I will quickly become that person. So I imagine a, a, a state of transition here pretty soon. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see. Mm-hmm. So let's find out. Let's do it. There's still whiskey in there. Not enough. Luffy, even if it succeeds, <laughs> like broken glass in his hand, he'll clean it up. Uh. What do you know about devil fruits? Hmm. They don't taste very good. <laughs> all right, <laughs> you still eat it all. They each grant you a unique ability, but there's a reason they call devil fruits unique. It's because of the deal you make when you eat one. All I know is that the gum gum fruit is worth more than all of Shanks' treasure, and I ate it, so it makes me worth more. Yeah, but I heard the saying there's no such thing as a free lunch. So, which one? <laughs> <laughs> How about you put that? He's a little hobbit. Luffy follows in the footsteps of anime protagonists who are with food. Yep. Are you going after the one piece? As soon as we resupply. When will you be back? I'm not coming back. I'm feeling so. so fiery. <laughs> yeah, well, you're gonna end up feeling. <laughs> I have to throw you overboard. I told you I need absolute silence. Yeah, I know, I know. I don't think he's capable. Is he opening it? No. And can you please give me some quiet and some space? No! Did you knock it off? I'm trying to take a nap. Oh, I'm sorry. Were we interrupting your beauty sleep? Don't like what you see? Look away. (laughs) Is this the map? That's it. Isn't there supposed to be gold inside a safe? The, the Grand Line is just right. Where is it exactly? You're going to the Grand Line, but you don't know where it is. Guess I need a navigator on my crew. <laughs> this thin strip of land that circles the globe uh-huh. is called the Red Line. And this band across the middle is the Grand Line. What is it? Like a big diamond or something? It's Gold Rogers treasure. He hid it somewhere in the Grand Line. All in one piece. It's a myth. The smoke smells weird. Oh, that's crazy. There's nothing you can do about that. Oh my god, he's gonna hide it. Oh, that's so <laughs> cool. You're made of rubber. Oh, Hi- oh buggy. Oh, <laughs> we changed the world. Go. <laughs> Get to see your boy. I know. Sorry. Maybe he'll become my boy too. His name's Jeff Ward. Well, fine. Fine. You know what that means? Well, throw us in jail for a puppy. Execute us if they do. They're, they're not Marines. Fred got knocked out, so I'm Jolly Watcher. We don't need to fight. I can talk to them. Pirate to pirate. That won't work. I'm a different kind of pirate. Pirates are pirates. There's only one kind. <laughs> this is a special kind. <laughs> I love how all pirates are themed. <laughs> <She's> crying. <laughs> oh, they're all here against their will. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, it's terrifying. It's all wrong. Spotlight was late. I completely missed my entrance. And <laughs> so. I saw your wanted poster in Shellstown. You're the 
clown guy, um, uh, Binky, right? Buggy. I bet everyone in the East Blue knows who you are. Whoa. What did you just say? Just that everyone knows who you are. No! No! <laughs> Hand, that I was upstaged by three little nobodies who stole it from right out under my nose. No! Take my head now! God. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nobody. I am destined to find the one piece. I will be king. No, you won't. Because I'm going to find it first. My freaks put quite a bit of rehearsal time into this little abduction. And if I can't reward them with that map, what if I give you a new freak for your crew? A rare attack, the most spectacular act in all of the East Blue, besides you. Kobe. Ah, oh, I don't think I've gone back with Kobe in my One Piece adventure, have I? Once they saw my axe, they ran off. <laughs> was that before or after you let them steal the map to the Grand Line? That was regrettable. To be a very confident, capable man to wear a hat like that. Yes, you do. Useless son had been able to prevent their escape. He, he probably would have been killed if not for the bravery of our newly enlisted cadet. Make no mistake, sir. I won't rest till I have <coughs> one of those pirates hanging in my yard. <coughs> Go a little faster. <laughs> oh my god. He's laughing. <laughs> We got more accurate. Uh huh. <laughs> oh my god. Looks like we have something else in common. <laughs> it's a fun reveal. Yeah. You went to Devil Fruits? The Chop Chop Fruit. Yep. I remember this. <laughs> cool. I'm slowly running out of knowledge. <laughs> he came in the unicycle. <laughs>
love that he came in on a unicycle menacingly. It's so funny. <laughs> oh, Gary! With, I don't know why the teeth make it worse. <laughs> we both know you don't belong here. In the Marines. I don't want to believe you, but your story does not help. How long have you been working with the pirates who attacked this base? What? No, sir, I'm not. I don't assume you're part of that. I don't know if the Marines is what you want, bud. So he saved me. Good. Luffy. Straw Hat Pilot. Why are you pretending to be a Marine? <coughs> I'm not pretending. Being a Marine is my dream. I mean to make the world a better place. This, sir. Uh, straw Hat Pirate. Do you owe him any allegiance? Hurts your face, Justin. Uh, he helped you. You're not hungry. You're never not hungry. What's going on? I thought the shithole was supposed to be popular. It's that dick. Let me go. Please stop. He's just a boy. He's just a boy. Who needs to learn respect for his betters? Good luck. I've been trying to teach him that for months. You can spill a drink on me and I'll let it slide. But don't you ever friend my friends. Oh. I was like, what fruit is that? <laughs> he didn't take a bite. <laughs> oh, they're sweet. They're pretty good. <laughs> he just beat them. In a Saw movie. Harry Houdini. Hardly seems fair. All those wonderful powers rendered useless from a few splashes. Mm. Christian will turn back you on you. Give me my map. Your only chance is to turn over that map, and if you do, I may have a very special place on my crew. Just for you. That looks awesome. Ugh. Ugly. Get lost. Did he roll a twenty on his intimidation check? He's got a guess. <laughs> genuine smile and the promise of violence <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! 
He's the tornado. <laughs> but don't you ever threaten my friends. So you want to die first. Cool. Be my guest. Jump, jump! He's just a head flying through the air now. Yeah, these poor people. I'm a different kind of pirate. There are more than one. <laughs> but we cannot win if we do not take away their dreams. This is why I am personally leading a mission to hunt down the pirates who attack this base. For honor. For justice. For justice. For the Marines. For the Marines. We don't have much, but please take this as a token of our, of our gratitude. Well, <laughs> maybe just a snack. <laughs> Anime protagonists. I'm not ready. Let's see. I'm gonna be a pirate captain. With my own ship, and a crew that will always have each other's backs. In that case, this house is the most precious thing I own. <laughs> Shanks always said that if the path to what you want seems too easy, then you're on the wrong path. Next up, the Grand Line! Is that a little bug? It's a little snake. A little bu bug phone? It's a cell phone. You can tell them I have them out. Huh. Okay. It was a little snail. Yep. I don't know if the Marines have the exclusive rights to communicate by snail. <laughs> or if they're just part of a service provider plan mm, that's mm. a good question yeah <laughs> <laughs> huh it's like okay. when the internet started as just a, a DARPA yeah. thing yeah exactly and, uh, okay well yeah all right damn okay well this uh this episode i liked even more than the first yeah myself no for sure yeah a lot of fun. Buggy was awesome. Yeah. yeah. Good performance. Like, yeah. very menacing. Yeah. Like, being so ridiculous, uh -huh. but still managing to be menacing. And showing so many vulnerabilities. Like, he's doing this because he's so not confident in himself that he has to force an audience yeah. upon himself. He just wants people to love him. <laughs> he does. Yeah. This is the only way he knows how. Oh. And just, like, the applause sign, like, when they were threatening that little boy... And all the people were like, uh, uh, it was so terrifying. <laughs> yeah, like oh. the the uh, 
confrontation here is a much smaller scale sure. than what we saw in the anime. Like, I remember, like, a big giant gun yeah. destroying the town. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, buggy bombs. Yeah. And such. Yeah. Yeah. Which, um, you know, here we're mainly inside of one tent. Mm-hmm. But I thought his effect looked pretty good. Yeah, I thought it did too. It, it gives you that feeling of like, what do you do against this thing? And I love the Mr. Potato Head thing he ends up as, and then we just punch him in the face. <laughs> that does make me worry because, like, One Piece, like a lot of anime in that style, is known for like the boss fights that go on for yeah. many, many, many episodes. Many episodes. I get it. Sure. And like this one was over pretty quick. Yeah. Um, How, you can't adapt that. You can't have the mini episode fight. So you have to be able to have at least fights that have moments yeah. like that, I guess, right? Because I know what you mean. But if they were ever to do a 10-episode, you know, Saiyan Saga adaptation, like, that fight can't last four episodes. <laughs> can it? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it could. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, like, because, like, Buggy is one of the earlier ones. But, like, yeah. later on, there's some that are just I so guess, epic right. in scale. I can't imagine fitting it inside of one episode. Well, if I were the person responsible for adapting that or at least and that's in my future i honestly would really be looking forward to trying yeah no yeah. i'm i'm very curious and interested to see <laughs> uh shanks was shanks and his crew were the highlight of the episode for me mm. i loved his genuine smile he gave uh luffy before he gave him the hat yeah that was so cool no that was great like, yeah, I like, when I read in the manga or I uh, watch it in the anime, like, I cry every time. Yeah. When he loses his arm, when he gives him the hat. You do what you want to me, but don't you dare hurt the people I care about. That was so good. Like, you can just see how such a man could, like, inspire the direction of a life. Of Absolutely. Someone. And everywhere he goes, he hears, like, pirates are the worst. Yeah. And he goes, no. The one that I knew was awesome, so there must be two kinds of pirates. Mm -hmm. That's so great. (laughs) Yeah, and I love what Zoro says. Like, you know, he believes in himself, and Uh it it rubs off. It does. Yeah, that's great. Like, they they couldn't really do much against Buggy, but what... You're right, like, it's a bad matchup. Zoro has amazing abilities, but when you can't cut somebody, that is a big foil. Yeah, it's pretty tough. Yeah. But a clever method of defeating him, mm-hmm. like vampire style, or uh, certain zombies, you like chop them up into a bunch of pieces and yeah. bury them all separately. Put, put them in a box. Put them in boxes, yeah. No, that's good. And he's just this little tiny dude. <laughs> <laughs> so gum, gum, fruit. Yeah. Gives, like, no matter, it's not like one type of fruit gives you a certain type of power. Every fruit is unique. Every fruit is unique. So it's like getting an, uh, the X gene in X-Men. Every effect on of that gene is it's in so- the fruit and is bestowed to the person. Yeah. So like because Luffy ate the gum gum fruit, he became a rubber man. Yeah. But like Shanks, in theory, could have eaten it and also became a rubber man. Okay. It, it's not like you eat it and unlock your inherent potential. Okay. It's like each in and of is- itself has okay. a power. Gotcha. What you eat, you gain, but it's cursed and the ocean becomes your enemy. Okay. Which is a tough thing for a pirate. Yeah, definitely. So salt water can nullify your powers. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah it's like um, kryptonite. Okay. For someone with a, a devil fruit power. I'm sure people that have uh, enjoyed One Piece for the last, what, 20 years? However Probably, long. Yeah. Uh, have exhausted this, but learning that I'm like wow what an incredible setting for stories <laughs> yeah pirates with powers that can't go in the water <laughs> yeah and you're always going to get new powers yeah like and, you're never going to see the same one twice yeah and that water is always going to be there because at least so far it seems like this world is mostly smaller islands yeah. I mean, I'm sure there's bigger land masses of course but where they're going the grand line they talked about how there's the <laughs> red line mm-hmm. and that is a land that enc- encompasses the entire earth and the grand line Goes it so literally X marks the spot, then right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, but I it's actually, something they like need a map to. It's not something you can just find. Find, yeah, okay, on your own. Yeah, no, I uh, I even really enjoyed the performance of the uh, the two marine guys. Um, Bogard is the name of the guy in the cape. The his like lieutenant. Bogard is like the um, why am I blanking on his name? 
like Nora detective kind of looking guy. Yeah. Spade is his name. Well, uh, I like the character. Um, Humphrey Bogart. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Bogart. Okay, got it. All right. The other guy uh, with the beard. Like, obviously, the way that Morgan was running it isn't the right way. Yeah. But he, so it seems like this guy at least has, I don't know. Vice Admiral Garp. Garp. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He has core values, he called it. Like, telling the truth is a core value of the Marine, is what he said. Yeah. I want to take him at his word, but he seems like he's, yeah, a lot more valued, but still well, a pirate yeah. enemy. Like, last episode, Luffy said, if there's good and bad pirates, there's probably good and yeah. bad Marines. Yeah. And maybe sure. Garp is one of the good ones. Yep. Yeah. Wants to kill their dream, mm-hmm. which Gold Roger like, gave to them. Created this massive piracy. Yeah. Gave them hope. Gave them something to, to strive for. A goal... And can that goal be reached? Yeah. Because from what I understand, this is a long show. <laughs> and is it worth it? Is it worth right? it? Right? It's like the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. Like, if you go so long and do so many things in order to get it, could it possibly be worth it in the end? Like, what could be on the Dragon Scroll in Kung Fu Panda that's worth getting it to that point? Yeah. yeah okay, I get you. <laughs> okay, so I got questions. Okay. I don't necessarily want the answers, yeah. but here we saw what I assume is a pretty experienced pirate trying to find Luffy's limit to stretch it. And seemingly Luffy's like, all right, let's keep going. Yeah. So I wonder, does he have a limit? Is it is it limitless as long as he's not in salt water? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, sure. We talk about anime protagonists and their food, and then I got to talk about anime protagonists and the way they break their ceilings. Right. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know what would his weaknesses be? Uh-huh. Like, we've seen him reflect bullets, mm-hmm. but, like, what can you do to rubber to harm it? Like, you can freeze it, I assume, and yeah. break it that way. You can burn rubber. Yeah. Get squirt guns with salt water in them. Like, you could do. slice rubber more easily than, like, trying to impact it. True. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. I'm. Th- it also gives him a rubber stomach. So he can, he just has a pocket. Yeah, he does. He, is, he totally does. I was thinking the other way, like, oh, he can eat anything he wants. He'll be fine. But no, yeah, he can keep stuff in there. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, because, like, his internal organs would have to be rubbery, too. They like, would. he's going to stretch. Yes. Huh. Wouldn't have any stretch marks. No. Probably wouldn't age. Probably you not. wouldn't get wrinkles. You wouldn't get wrinkles. I wouldn't think. And, uh, yeah, Nami seems to have allegiances elsewhere. I figured. I just don't. I don't. It doesn't come across as necessarily antagonistic. It just maybe it's presented that way. So I just. I don't know who you make that call to, but it feels to me like, as a viewer, I'm supposed to think, ah, oh, big snail, little snails probably talk with each other. I don't know. Mm. So you think it's uh, like someone in the Marines? Um. I mean, barring that I have no idea who else it can be, that I have to have that be my like default assumption. But sure, I'll leave. I have to leave room that it's just like right now we only know of, of two like factions. Yeah, there's like Marines and pirates. And, yeah. Like not all the pirates are on the same side. Sure, but it's like two like not agencies, but like I don't know if it's fair to assume a lot of people have snail phones. Sure. <laughs> Which is such a crazy statement. <laughs> I love that he's just speeding that lettuce. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. It's such a like interesting and creative world. Like I I love the world of yeah. One Piece. Oh, yeah. It's Absolutely. Just, it's its own character. Uh, kind of like Hunter x Hunter in a way. Which, you should watch that reaction as well. Mm. It's a hell of a show. I mean, it's one of the reasons I like anime so much, much is because it will ask you to take the most ridiculous things seriously, yeah. and I love that feeling. And I love that this show's not shying away from the ridiculousness. No? It, it just, it seems like it's it's here, and you can either take it, or you can't. Yeah. No, I appreciate I agree. that. I definitely appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, I, I'll, I'll put the casting of Jeff Ward in there with Buggy, because I remember Buggy, I remember him being big. You yeah. Know, Jeff isn't necessarily the biggest guy, Yeah, but they cast somebody that can not bring the the fear in his like presence but in his you know how far he can stretch his acting or how far he can take his brain out of himself and do these crazy things yeah sure 
<laughs> okay. All right. Well, I had a lot of fun. Chop, chop fruit. I don't know what that tastes like. I know that the gum gum fruit wasn't very good. Not very good. Chop, chop fruit. But he still ate the whole thing. He did eat the whole thing. Right? And I respect it. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this episode of One Piece. And uh, you can go over to blindwave.com and check out the next four reactions that we have available right now. That's uh, being a month ahead. Uh, make sure you're subscribed because we're always going to be releasing these once a week. And I'm excited for more. I'm excited.